Okay, question number seven on this March 2011 foundation paper for unit one. Uh, it says a company pays people to visit shops and test customer service. Paul works for this company and his fees are shown in this table here. Calculate his mean fee. Okay, well, if he got paid, well, you've got to remember when you've got the data in the table like this, you can call this your column, this is your frequency column, and then we need an X times F column over here. So let's add that extra column in. And then let's add an extra line on the bottom as well. Well, the first thing to do is to add up his um, frequency. That's always the first thing to do. So the total comes out as 40. So he did 40 different visits. Okay, that's fine. Now, if we do this X times F, he got paid £8 10 times. So if we do, that means for those visits, he got a total of £80. For these visits, he got 18 times he got paid £10. So 18 times 10 is £180 total for those visits. 12 times 7 is 84. 15 times 4 is 60. And 20 times 1 is 20. That gives him a total of 400 and 24 pounds. Okay, so to work out his mean, you have to do the 420. Sorry about that. He has to do the 424, and he has to divide it by 40. He doesn't divide it by one, two, three, four, five, because there's five sections. He actually did 40 different visits. So 424 divided by 40 means that he comes up with the answer. 10.6 or £10.60 that was his mean fee per visit to a shop Okay. so one mark for getting uh, any of these calculations correct one mark for adding them all up and finding 40 and then one mark for doing the correct calculation which in this case is division and coming up with the answer 10.6 Paul says that his modal fee and his median, median fee are both £10 give reasons and working how do you decide well the mode means the most frequent. That's what it means. So, in this table, the one with the most frequency is 18. So the one with the biggest, so he got paid £10 most often. So £10 was most often fee. Okay, that shows the, the mode. So you get a mark for that. However, to find the median, you need to find his middle fee when all the fees are put in order. So the middle fee when they're in order. Now he got a total of 40 fees. So to find the middle one, oh, let's just rub that out. To find the middle fee, you do 40 divided by 2, which is the 20th fee. So you want to find out what he got paid exactly for his 20th fee. So you've got to work down. Well, there's 10 fees here, and then the next 10 fees are all going to be contained within this group. So the 20th fee is also £10, and you get a mark for that. So follow these two through again. Um, this page is really important, this question, being able to find the mean, the mode, and the median from a table that looks like this. Okay, so well, I've just copied his page here. So because this page is too small to fit everything on, you can flip back in your exam book. We know there was a total of 40 fees in total. This was Paul's. Paul's fees. Okay. Shelley also works for his company. Her fees are shown the same, except she's got hers in a, ta in a graph rather than a, a frequency diagram, rather than a table. So give one similarity and one difference. Well, there's lots of different things you can write as long as they're correct. Um, well, you can see that Shelley's most common fee was also £10. So one similarity is Shelley's most common fee was £10. Oops. So mode equals £10 for both. Okay, so that's one similarity. That would get you a mark. The next thing you got to spot anything that's different about that. You can find anything that's different. Well, I spotted, I added up, that she got 
two fees for eight pounds. She got twenty-two fees of ten pounds. She got eighteen fees um, that were twenty pounds. She got uh, four fees for fifteen pounds and twenty pound fee. She also got four. So when I added that up, that came to forty, forty-four, forty-eight, fifty. So I found out that Shirley got 50 fees in October Paul got only 40 fees now there's all sorts of other different things you could have said that um, you could have said any different anything you could have said anything that was different about the two of them. So you could have said that Shelley got more fees at £20 or she got less fees at £8 or anything. I just chose those two. As long as what you said was correct, then you'll get the marks for that, as long as it's, you wrote it in the right box. Okay.